Hello my friends, this is the Juno X, and today we're going to make a patch starting from scratch. Shift, enter, will take you to the initialization menu, and we're just going to hit enter again, and enter one more time, and that will give us a clean square wave from the Juno X engine. And uh, from here, it's time to shape the sounds. Uh, we might as well start with a little bit of a filter here. Bring the filter down uh, and add a little bit of resonance. You can hear the uh, click of the envelope even. It's a very, very fast uh, attack. <laughs> Might even be the decay. Let's just add a little bit of length here. And a little bit of envelope. Bring in a little sub bass with the sub oscillator. I'm also going to bring up the saw wave here just to make as big and as wide the sound as possible. And to add to that width, we're going to switch to function mode here and we're going to bring the detune up somewhere. Maybe, well, let's just spool it up here. A big part of the Juno sound is the pulse width modulation that it's able to achieve here. So if we just uh, pull this up. Now to get to our pulse width modulation, we're going to hold shift. And we're going to move the pulse width mod here. And then we're going to move up just one section, change it from manual to move with the LFO. And now it should have a lot more motion in the pad. In fact, we could slow that down a little, bring that up. add a little bit more uh, release, just make a bigger, longer sound. From here, it's time to add in the signature Juno chorus, and by pressing chorus 1, you can hear the noise uh, come into effect. We can actually turn that noise right down and just have the pure sound of the Juno chorus. Uh, no noise. Wow. movement. So I'm actually going to bring the LFO speed up and I'm going to bring the delay time up as well. Um, interestingly, in my original Juno 106, the delay time will affect the timing of the pulse width mod. And I don't think that's the case here. <laughs> after the fact on the uh, on the oscillators from the LFO. And 
so it's really coming into shape. And uh, here, it's time to add a little bit of extra effects, uh, maybe a little bit of reverb. So we're going to bring the time up. And by switching out of function mode, we can turn the reverb send up. Let's hear how that sounds. Maybe a little delay. I like um, quarter note dot. Where are we? There we go. So that sounds suitably epic. Let's just change a couple things around here and see what we can do to make uh, something new. Let's lose our uh, pulse wave, bring up the saw wave, drop the sub wave, add a little bit of noise. Um, we are going to bring our high pass filter down, give it a little more frequency, a little more resonance, and let's just see what we can create. A little less frequency, a little more attack. It's going to be big. Oh, Let's try this. And Super Saw. Just change things up a little bit here. Change our wave to a square wave. I'm gonna bring the rate up. Delay time, maybe we'll keep it where it's at. Bring that depth up just a little bit. And I bet you this is gonna be wacky. that is making some sounds on the Juno Wax. Thanks for watching.